Hello, everyone. And my mic is in the wrong spot. <laughs> now it is good. Hello, everyone. My name is Rad Simmer, and this is my Sims 3 Generations Let's Play. And I am sad to say that this is the last part of Season 1 of Generations, but Season 2 will be coming very, very shortly, so don't you worry, okay? Um, I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, sister, you gotta clean this up. <laughs> gotta clean it up. Um, so, <laughs> I have some fun news. Miss, um, <laughs> Delaney met Jason Momoa. <laughs> Last night, they are co-workers, so, um, yes, this is a Jason Momoa that I downloaded off The Sims resource, and guess what? I'm obsessed. <laughs> I think it's great, and I'm so excited. Um, so, she is probably gonna move in with him today, and, you know, it's really exciting to see her move on, and maybe she'll get married. Um, but that's up to her. We're not really going to push her. Um, it's up to the progression. And everybody else is at work and school, which is really, really nice. Um, oh, my Miss Loner. She doesn't like to meet friends. You're just like your aunt, huh? Um, but yeah, everybody's at work. I'm having her suck up to her boss, which I'm pretty sure is Mia. Oh, no, it's Loki. Okay. Um, and his boss is Mia. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so hopefully we all get promotions, which would be really, really great. Uh, and Dean is probably going to move out with, uh, Rosemary. And then from there, we'll just figure it out. I, uh, you know what? I feel like Dean, though, may stay with us just to help us take care of the kids because he's just not that ready to leave the house yet. So, you know... I get it. We get it. We all get it, right? Uh, but Delaney is definitely gonna probably move on. And oh my goodness, our dog is still running around here. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. This is Susia? No. Okay. So I am. Let's just speed through this. Speed through this bitch real quick. <laughs> and I will have you guys meet Mr. Jason Momoa. Because he is so cute. And he met all his coworkers. Yay. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Is everybody done with work? She is staying late, as she should. She needs to maintain good relationships. And did you get a... Yes, he did. Thank God. Okay. So now he is a level four. Oh, level three? That's it? Oh, she's a level four. Oh, okay. Is Jason Momoa here? Where is he? Oh my goodness. He is so sexy. Okay, like, whoa. Um, hi. Hi. I'm obsessed with you. You are so cute. Let's take a romantic photo. And then, um, I am going to move into your house. Yes, we love. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I don't want to ask him to move in because um, while I was off camera, freaking um, Natasha proposed to Orion through the story progression mod. So I was just like, bitch, like, no, we want to do that ourselves. <laughs> So now, she lives literally one house over, not even, which is, yay, very exciting. <laughs> okay, so, now we have three Sims left, and that is pretty much everybody. Are we done? And it's Friday night. Okay, lit. Okay, so, you can leave now. Don't invite to cuddle. Okay, you're home... And you're dancing, correct? Oh my gosh. They're always freaking dancing. Play darts. Invite a friend over. Invite your girl over. And why is Orion, like, broken? <laughs> um, why? Why are you broken? Okay. 
But also in this part, I kind of want us to reminisce about the things that happened. Maybe we'll go, Orion is technically the youngest. Um, he's one of three with a triplet, but he was the last one born. They didn't think they were going to have him. So um, it's a really kind of cute story. I think we should kind of take a walk down memory lane and visit everybody. So if you guys don't remember, Ariana and Josiah were high school and college Oh my goodness. I thought something was going on fire here, but there's just like an alarm going out in front of my house. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, like I was saying, if you guys don't really know the story, Ariana and Josiah, no, were high school sweethearts from the city of Bridgeport and they don't have a car anymore. Oh, we got to get them a car. But like I said, they were high school sweethearts, and they decided to move to Aurora Skies for a simpler life where they can raise their kids and really, really, you know, improve the, the general well-being of everybody. And it was a really big, bold move for these two, and I am so happy that they decided to move, um, but it was definitely a big change, and... I am, you know, oh, he's taking the dog. I am definitely really, really happy that um, they decided to move. It was a whole new world, a whole new life together, and they did it. They moved into this very foreign place where they got engaged literally right here, and look how beautiful this freaking place is. I love it. This is one of my favorite worlds. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but you know what? We're not moving. Deciding to raise their family in a foreign place like this was definitely a big shock, but they made the right decision ultimately, and they ended up having six kids. Now, who are these six kids, you may ask? Well... I am, like, getting lost on, like, my own feet right now. I, like, can't communicate. I don't know why his image is like that. I don't like it. So, you may be asking, um, who are these six kids? Well, it is Mr. Josiah, Emmett, Mia, Delaney, Dean, and Orion. So, first, they had Josiah, which is pretty, I mean, Sebastian. I keep saying that. I always mess up their names. So we have Josiah, and then we have Sebastian. And Sebastian is pretty much um, the surname or the name that's passed down because Sebastian is Josiah's father's name. And Sebastian and Josiah always looked exactly the same. They were pretty much identical to each other. They were neck and neck. They, who was the firstborn best friends and they have the best relationship and they definitely remember each other the best. And then they had twins. So they had Emmett and Mia and that is why they were living in this little house, um, which is their starter home that, um, right now Travis and, and, uh, Emmett live, which is really sweet. This was their starter home. And they had the babies, the triplets here. They were able to scrape away enough money to ultimately buy the house that they live in right now. So it's really exciting. I'm really happy for them. And from there, they kind of moved on. Ariana went to work for a little bit. She was definitely a little bit overwhelmed with having three kids. But she knew she wanted more. And they couldn't really get pregnant. So she got a fertility treatment. And then she had three more, okay, at the same time. So then popped out Delaney, Dean, which they thought they were having twins, and boom, Orion. Now, um, that was definitely a big shock. So, next thing you know, they have six young kids. They're all pretty close together in uh, age, but it is what it is, right? They, they conquered and they came through it. Now... All of their kids were raised really, really well, I think. It was kind of up until their dad took off was when things kind of got hard. So these three were always raised with, with Josiah, with their dad. And while they were on a vacation, these 
Um, it was Ariana, Josiah, and Sebastian went on a family vacation, went on a vacation so the teens can throw parties. Pretty much, Josiah never came back. And it was understood that he found a woman and he was interacting with online. And from there, he just never came back. One night, they woke up and he wasn't there. So it was definitely a big shock to the family. These three never really knew their dad because they were in boarding school while they t- while they were gone. So these three went to boarding school because there was lots to handle for Ariana and Josiah. So they just scraped away some pennies. They always struggled with money, but they always were able to bring it out for their kids. And they ultimately were able to go to boarding school. But from there, they never really met their dad. So um, they were at boarding school while they were on vacation and they went the minute they aged up next thing you know they're teenagers they don't have their parent their dad and yada 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 a lot a lot of problems happened from there and ariana thought he never she'd never see him again and that's pretty much what happened uh she started dating now ariana our heir started dating some guy from work he's a little bit younger than her but always was aghast by her beauty and now they're engaged to be married so that is exciting they she currently lives here which you guys saw in the last part she bought this little little nook right where um the beautiful hydro um geothermal energy is produced for the town and then across the street is the pool which is a pool with ha- just has like beautiful beautiful views i'm she's very happy ariana now let's go into the backstory of our kids like i said to sebastian he was always a lot like his dad and he is very very smart and is a trauma surgeon right now for the medical career so kudos to sebastian emmett um kind of you know he does have the loser trait kind of an outcast Um, never really understood. Um, he's also a gay man, so he kind of struggled a little bit understanding his sexuality, but Travis was ultimately his first boyfriend, and then they ended up getting married. So, it is really exciting that they are together forever from high school, and then they decided to adopt a baby, Cyrus. So, we will see how all these kids age in the, uh, next season. Mia here was kind of a mean girl, We tried to make her like a party or pretty girl, but it really never worked out. She was always kind of getting into fights with her friends, getting into fights with guys. She was rejected at the dance, all these silly things. And one day at a Christmas party, I think Ricky was just like outside and she was like, oh my goodness, like Ricky, oh. And um, he's a paparazzi. That sucks. But, um, But like I said, it was like, oh, it's Ricky. And... Um, they kind of just fell for each other. Next thing you know, she moved in with him and he was really, really wealthy. And next thing you know, she's pregnant. And that is that. Um, I didn't get into Sebastian a little bit. So this is Brooke. This was also his high school sweetheart. A lot of them ended up marrying their high school sweethearts, mainly because it's a small town. You know, it's kind of what happens. So Brooke and Sebastian were high school sweethearts. They had Josiah, which is the, um, heir child before they were married and ultimately they got married and then they had two more Cameron and Lucy um but like I said Mia was kind of you know we wanted her to be a little bit like Ariana they look a lot alike they're pretty much twins but they never really got they never really had that bond so it is what it is right um now We are at our teenagers, um, I mean our triplets. So Delaney's just been always kind of a loner. We never really had any like crazy, crazy, um, Sims in this part. Um, but like I said, she was a loner and she doesn't really want to leave the house. She's just work oriented, but she met this guy and now she's going to move in with him and that's it. A lot of our Sims don't really care about their situation and what, how they grew up. They're very carefree and I think that's like her mom, like, the mothers trying to teach them that. Dean also was kind of a social outcast, a little bit more part, like a little bit more involved, 
probably to believe to have some type of like alcohol or drug addiction, but I'm not going to show that in the LP. But that's kind of what he is to me. He's working to be a teacher. I think he's going to be fine, but may end up staying with his brother for a long time. And his brother, who will be taking over the LP, is Orion, which is who we have right here. He met Natasha pretty much on a whim on the street. That's how they meet each other here, apparently. And they're just head over heels for each other, and they're definitely going to get engaged and get married. Now, the story with Gabriella is um, pretty much Orion got Carissa here pregnant. At around 16 17 years old and it was really 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 hard because Carissa was very not ready to have a child I mean you can't really be ready to have a child especially when you're so young and you know what he she pretty much dropped Gabriella off at his house and said I'm not taking care of her so that's how Orion potentially got with Gabriella his daughter it was really, really hard on Ariana when that happened, you know what I mean? It was definitely like, wow, I can't believe my son had a teen pregnancy. I wish I did a little bit more, but you know what? It is what it is, and we have thus came afar. So, we will see where things go. Um, I kind of wanted him to go adventuring, but there's just so many places to go, and hopefully Ariana comes home, but I don't think she will. And maybe we'll throw a party to kind of, like, have you guys get to know each other. Um, not get to know each other. I am so bad. Oh, there she is. Um, kind of just better understand the family. But I'll introduce everybody again in the next part. Um, but, yeah, I feel like this is good. We should have a last hurrah party, definitely. I, I think that would be a really good idea. So let's do that, right? Let's throw a party at. We'll throw it somewhere so nobody has to worry. It's the last day of summer. Let's do it at, like, the pool. And we can really see everybody. Throw a formal party? No. We're not throwing a formal party. Um, you know what? Let's do it at the club, shall we? <laughs> um, since everything else, freaking, that's like their only place they go. Um, this is gonna be a destination party, casual tire, and we're just gonna invite everyone, everybody that we can. Um, we'll invite Rosemary. We're not gonna invite you. We're not gonna invite you. Yes, 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 yes. And we will invite the rest, for sure. Um, okay. So, let's all go here. This is their little bar, which I love. And looks like everybody's already showing up. Ricky is now a father of a new baby boy. Oh my god, me, I just gave birth to a baby boy named Russ. Ugh, I hate that name. I had a boss named Russ, and he pretty much, like, made my life miserable. <laughs> How coincidental, right? Okay, so while we're here, we'll just invite over everybody else that we couldn't fit. <laughs> like, um, Momoa, Jason Momoa. Why, why am I blanking? Why am I blanking? Oh, scary. <laughs> Where is M? There we go. Nope. And then Sebastian we had to invite. Or, yeah. Yay. Okay. Cool. And it is the last hurrah. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. How about you change your outfit, girl? I don't know what you're wearing. And let's order some, let's order a round of drinks for everybody before they start showing up. And let's just have some fun. Just to kind of see everyone, not say goodbye, just recognize all the change and 
this is Josiah. This was the man that took off on Ariana when, you know what? He shouldn't have, but he did. So, oh my gosh, are they going to fight? Oh, they're being nice. Here is Mia, our first daughter. And then this is Travis. And is Emmett here? No, nope, paparazzi, not today. This is Brooke, who is Sebastian's wife. And who else we got here? Here's Mia, I just introduced, and her husband, Ricky. And we're so far making there. We're so far getting there. Hopefully everybody else shows up. Who are we waiting on? Oh, she's here. Delaney is here. And I hope she's not leaving. <laughs> this is Delaney. Our second daughter. We had four sons, three girl, two girls. And it is perfect. It was just a perfect little fit. I mean, they were not a perfect little family. It was definitely hard on Ariana because she got... You know, had no husband, was pretty much stuck, and, you know, from there, it was eventually good, but it wasn't always good, so we are very glad that it got better. How about we dance? Dance wildly together. Ooh, oh, most likely to be mediocre. That's the, the plaque she got. What else? What else? What else? Anybody else here? Who are you? Oh, that's Brooke. And it, parties posted up back here, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> yes. Now, let's talk about Natasha and Orion. Well, Natasha kind of is a trust fund baby. Somehow ended up in um, Aurora Skies and just never left. Wanted to leave her family. I'll develop more of a backstory when I start the LP. But, like I said, was kind of just really excited to move on with her life and left where she was and found Josiah, I mean, Orion. And we'll see where it goes, you know? And oh, here's Dean. Hi, Dean. Did Rosemary show up? Where did everybody go? Yo. Piss him. Okay, everybody's coming back. Great. Let's invite Rosemary. Oh, call over. She where is she? Oh, she just got here. Okay. Cool. And Sebastian's not here. Where is Sebastian? Let's invite him. I think Emmett and Travis dipped. They were like, I'm out. All right, you guys, so that is the family. I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. I really, really, really did. Um, Was it my favorite? I think it was. Not, I don't know if it compares to my Generations LP with the Rutherford family, but overall, I think we're going to bring a lot of fun to this family coming up. So, um, yeah. I guess that's it for now. I guess we'll cut to Ariana, our queen, playing the cello or the bass. I don't know how she learned how to play this, but you know what? We let her rock. So, um, is everybody jamming? I don't know. But guys, like I said, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. This is the first LP I did, um, returning to YouTube. So it feels really good to be here and finish and complete this one. Be sure to check out season two. Durr. We will be continuing with Natasha and Orion. So um, be sure to check it out. And I will see you all in my next Let's Play. Bye-bye.